Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and welcome on into a very exciting news video. Today, it is Batman Day, and LEGO has decided today to release pictures for the brand new LEGO DC Super Heroes Batman set, the 1989 Batwing. This is going to be available for VIP members starting on October the 21st, and officially launching for everyone else on November the 1st. Long ways away, compare that to the Diagon Alley press release Baffling. Makes zero sense to me. But anyways, this set has 2,363 pieces, three minifigures, and will be retailing for 199 USD. And I have to assume, because they don't include Canadian prices in the press release, but this is going to retail hopefully for 269.99, if that is correct. And this set is crazy. And for some reason, don't know why, this and Mos Eisley, they've just stopped taking official pictures and providing us with official pictures for detailed shots of these sets. And specifically, I'm reading through the press release and there's a bunch of cool things in here that I would really like to see real official pictures for and not just these lifestyle ones is what the files are called. But anyways, let's just look at the box. First of all, it's beautiful. Like the box is so nice. I love how they've taken the logo and created like a Batwing logo. That looks really, really awesome. That's so, so cool. It is the same uh, style box as the... Uh, Batmobile, of course, from last year, but it does have the new black trim on the bottom, which looks really cool. I like combining those two. And the Batwing itself is absolutely amazing, but I know what a lot of people care about is the figures, which I might just do a whole video talking about and ranting about because it's beyond frustrating to me. What's going on with like their inclusions for these sets? Um, but the three figures you're getting is Batman, and I believe that this is the exact same one from last year. And then we've got the Joker here, Jack Nicholson's Joker in the mime outfit. The Joker has the pen that he stabbed someone in the neck with. And then we have what the press release is calling the boombox goon. So wish that that was Bob. I don't know why it's not Bob, his main henchman. Like it just baffling why he's not here and just scene wise this goon isn't in the scene with the batwing this joker outfit isn't in the scene with the batwing I, I don't know but i do love the gargoyle stand it looks really cool uh, it is the exact same one from last year so i do really like that and that you could like make a longer one i guess i'm going to try and modify that and do a separate video for that but honestly uh joker is incredible looking but even the goon like i know that i'm upset that it's not bob but that face looks great the torso is great and specifically the arm printing as well with the joker cards like this is such a detailed figure for like an unnamed character meanwhile from vicky vale from last year the color was wrong oh my goodness i oh, i'm getting upset just thinking about that i did a whole video fixing those figures but yeah, I, I don't know who decided the figures for these two sets. I, I don't get it. But uh, the Batwing itself looks amazing. And I said last year that I would have preferred the Batwing over the Batmobile just because we keep getting Batmobile over and over and over again. So I'm glad that they did this. And it's not even an anniversary. They were just, they just did this, which is great because the Batmobile sold really well. And I think this will too. And it's cheaper. And honestly, I would rather just have the Batwing. So uh, this actually is... Uh, it is four inches tall. It is 20 inches long and 22 inches wide. So this thing's huge. And that's, I don't think that's including the actual stand, which unfortunately there's no good pictures for. So I'm going to have to shuffle between these two because the camera focuses are off in each of them. It's cool. I like the stand build and I like the plaque. The plaque looks really cool, just like with every Ultimate Collector Series one. Um, underneath, there is actually a piece for you to actually take the Batwing and attach it to your wall. You can actually mount this on your wall, which is really cool. It says in the press release that it's actually using a special brick, which allows you to mount and display the model on the wall. I'm going to assume that this is the exact same piece that they have created for Lego art, which would just make a lot of sense since they created it for mounting things onto the wall. So that's pretty cool. I'm excited to see what it looks like underneath. Again, no pictures for underneath. Um, but the inside, the cockpit looks really cool from what I can see, but Again, looking at the press release here, it actually says that there's a bunch of Easter eggs and surprises for builders, such as a screen featuring the Joker's gas balloons and a bat engine label on a vehicle's engine. I want to see that. Like, why do I have to wait to get the set? Like, I don't know. I'm not understanding. Like, that. that's something that should excite people. Like, seeing the cockpit of the Batwing is, 
something really important. I don't know why it's not here. But it has a lot of weapons. You've got like the minigun, the, the little rockets and things like that. I hope that it has the feature to actually like grab the balloons. I think that would be really cool. Um, but yeah, that is the set and I'm, I'm happy with this. Like, I'm just happy that we're getting the Batwing. The figures, while they're detailed, it's just confusing. And the press release here is just also really disappointing. Like, it just, it doesn't make sense what Lego's doing. Like, I don't want to have to use these pictures to show you guys these important features for this set. But regardless, this is a beautiful set. I wish that they were minifigure scale instead. Like, I would love just a minifigure scale Batwing versus the Joker balloon, and that would just be so fantastic. But the other thing that I wonder is, are we going to be getting a minifigure scale version of this as a giveaway promotion with the purchase of the set? Because I really love that. Oh, here's another thing I forgot to mention before that really upsets me about what they said in the press release. It says here, fans can even create the infamous scene when the Joker barges in on the Dark Knight and utters his classic words, Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? He doesn't say it in this outfit! How are you recreating that? It makes zero sense. It just, it doesn't make any sense to me. Why? Why? Who wrote this? Who? Did they watch the movie? Have they seen the movie? The other thing that I wonder is, are we going to be getting a minifigure scale version of this as a giveaway promotion with the purchase of the set? Because I really love that. And anyways, everyone, I want to hear your thoughts about this set down below in the comment section. I'm sorry that I'm getting upset and really passionate about this. I love the movie. I, this is like one of the few DC sets that we're getting this year. Um, and I just, it's just frustrating. It really is. I want to hear your thoughts about it down below in the comment section. But I, anyways, guys, I hope that you did enjoy the video and I hope that you all have a great day. We'll see you all in the next one.